Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We have got to pass uh, Propertied Women, so let's get started with that. Uh, I think this is going to make some people salty. Oh no, only the Southern Planters. Cool. Excellent. Let's get started. Um, the other thing we're going to do is I've got a 4th American Army, which doesn't have any battalions or leaders. Now I don't. Um, Alright, economic development. We got a short plan. Um, I'm going to start working on the Western Frontier again, because I do need to colonize the rest of this. But once I've got the rest of Montana colonized, um, I need to... <clears throat> oh no, I can only... I, okay, so once I get Frontier Wars done, I don't need to do the, uh, the expedition immediately. Once I get Frontier Wars done, I can make all these spaces homelands, which is going to make the incorporation much faster. Um, Alright, so... We're started incorporating... I said, is it the right call for me to be starting a new... Starting a new expedition right now? How much is it going to cost? I don't think it tells me. Last time it was about 5k, but I'm a much larger country now. So let's look at other <coughs> options. Let me see. I have a truce with France. So I shouldn't be able to get into a war with them. So what if I... What if I... What if I took over IT? Uh, Spain would probably fight me. But I'm not worried about Spain. New Grenada would probably fight me. What if I took over New Granada? New Granada is only 15.7 infamy to turn into a protectorate. Oh, hold on. I have to fight Venezuela, but that's not that big of a deal. I could do that. I could do that. Okay, what kind of a... You have 18 battalions, you have 12 battalions. I'd, be, I'd, be able, I'd have to be able to fight 30 battalions. I could... <clears throat> try to get Britain in... And that would give me a front. What if I try to take Venezuela? Venezuela is only 10.8. But New Grenada is kind of what I want. If I go after New Grenada, there's a lot of countries that could get involved. And a lot of countries that would probably stand, stand with them. Denmark, but I don't think they're going to be an issue. A bunch of... Uh, countries in Central America potentially would, but I think I, I think I can fight most of them with Great Britain on my side. <clears throat> that minus twelve is a little concerning. What if I just went after Venezuela? It's only Denmark and New Grenada. I think we can work with that, and I can call Britain in as an ally. Mm. <clears throat> if I wait a little longer, I could... No, I can't do both. I can't do both. But once I've got Venezuela as a protectorate, it'll be... I can turn them into a puppet, and that'll be much easier to go after New Grenada. Grenada. With that having been said, my other option is to go after more countries in Central America, which I could do. Do I still have a truce with Mexico? I do. New Grenada is a really good target, though. And it's early, so they won't be too... You know what? I think I can fight New Grenada. Let's do it. Be my protectorate. Yeet. All right. So, <clears throat> they're against me. I can sway countries. I can get Britain. I can get Brazil. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's mobilize the forces. And once again, we'll mobilize the army of Florida. We'll raise conscripts in the army of Florida and the army of observation. And we'll turn these two navies... How do I make a formation? Thank you. 
Okay, now they're just one navy, which might have been dumb, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Regular army, I don't think we're going to raise conscripts yet. Let's get this started. Alright, units are mobilizing. <clears throat> Again, I don't necessarily have to have... Ooh. Leonard Morton. <laughs> Leonard Morton appeared and immediately left. Um, I didn't even see what his shtick was. He's a reformer aligned with the evangelicals. He's exactly the same ideology as the leader of the evangelicals. Yet, he says uh, he's found both the American public and supposed political opponents unreceptive to his ideas. Um, he's decided to retire from their own politics, opting instead to spend the rest of his days penning embittered reflections on what could have been. Uh, you know, bye. I, I'm not even gonna. Re he just appeared and disappeared. I, I don't. I don't. I don't feel any attachment to this man. <clears throat> All right. So let's give this a second. Okay, Venezuela sides with New Grenada. And now Britain is interested. So, yeah, we'll, uh... Um, because we've got a front with them now, and that's going to be really important. So, we'll pull with all ally. Beautiful. Um, so now that we've got a front, we'll send the Army of Observation and the Army of Florida down there to fight. Denmark sides with New Grenada. All right, that's fine. So this is actually very good. This means we don't need to naval invade. Should I raise the concepts of the regular army? I don't think so. Because I don't think I'm going to need them. Frankly. Put this fleet over here. Put one of you on uh, convoy raiding. Are you a convoy raider? Who here is a convoy raider? No. 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 Alright, none of y'all. You. Fire the cannons! So now that we've got armies on the front, or we're getting armies on the front, we'll have them here in a moment. How's the force comparison looking? 27. A landmark case. In a legal case that has grabbed the attention of the whole country, a judge has ruled that domestic violence is grounds for divorce. He struck her again and again, simply for dropping a plate. This was only the latest in a series of beatings, stretching from honeymoon to present day. How can we commit any woman to this endless punishment? Divorce for women in a violent situation is not just fair, it is the very embodiment of justice. This supports our case immensely, 20% enactment chance. Or let's not celebrate too loud in case we upset the Southern Planters, 10%. This one pisses off the Southern Planters. Where are they at? They're at minus four? Eh, we'll do the second one. I'm not I'm not hurting for enactment chance on this. I've got plenty of time, uh, and I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right, there is another army coming here, but the army of observation is going to get larger and larger as these conscripts get mobilized, which they are currently in the process of doing. <coughs> Yeah, this force comparison is looking rock solid. I think we'll definitely be able to get there. Uh, we will designate... Oh, well, we'll... Oh, interesting. They're moving an army off. Why does the regular army have a bunch of extra battalions in it? This is weird. Get this. I'm going to move this army over here to the Danish front. The Army of the West Indies is on its way, but it's going to take a long time, but that's okay. I can get uh, the regular army there to deal with it. <coughs> France colonized the Windward Coast. Uh, they're doing naval invasions over here in New Grenada. Well, that's fine. You go ahead and do that. I see. They need an army to deal with uh, the Kikuyu people. I see. That's here. Yeah. Ooh, Law Progress to Study. Wonderful. That is a great uh, situation to get started with. And now the regular army is coming down to the border of Venezuela to deal with this thing. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A lot of things are happening right now. A lot of things. 
Okay, first of all, gold fields depleted. The rich mineral deposits in Nevada have been drained. Mines are being shuttered and all the prospectors who moved in are beginning to drift away in search of the next big strike. Alluvial gold dried up, miners go home. A river dried up due to miner activity. Shafts condemned as threat to life. Enter at own peril. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Uh, my two options are unfortunate, which is reduce migration attraction, or we can't just let them leave. Smaller penalty to migration attraction. Uh, labor pops become radical. I'm going to do the second one, and I'm going to basically always do that. We're going to get that event a lot of times. But Nevada, my friend, you have... Oh, look at all that gold mine capacity. Hell yeah. Max out the, the, the production methods. We're going mines all the way down. All right, so I'm going to move all of these textile mills and paper mills to the bottom of the tree. Because, oh. Huge penalty to construction efficiency. What's going on here? Turmoil and unincorporated and great basin desert. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down one of our consumption taxes and we're going to throw road maintenance. Uh, let me see. Road maintenance is 10% state construction efficiency. Violent suppression is minus 50% penalties from turmoil. Nevada's uh, construction efficiency penalty and turmoil is minus 30%, basically. So, putting suppression in... Well, that'll create some mortality, though. No, we'll do we'll do road maintenance. We don't need to be hyper uh, hyper vigilant on this. So that's going to change this. It's still at 30 weeks. I think it'll take some time to recalculate. Let's let that time go by. Yeah, here we go. Alright, that's much better. So, defamatory article. A newspaper called the Iowa Globe has printed a bigoted article about the Algonquin people living there. We can suppress the article, or we can let it be released. He threw the tabloid across the table with a huff. Absolutely vile lies, the lot of it. Alas, that won't matter to those who read it. They'll gobble it right up. He eyed the shocked maid's face, then read it himself. Of course they'd believe it. He hadn't given them any proof to the contrary. Suppress it, minus 5%, or ignore it, minus 1 standard of living modifier to Algonquin in Iowa. I'm going to suppress it. I've got the authority. It's only like 20 authority. Capital interests. The interest of the petite bourgeoisie in the lucrative fabric trade with Great Britain has led them to align themselves with the American British Fellowship. Does the increased volume not permit for more risk? Quite the opposite. When a deluge of money enters one's pockets, one becomes predisposed to mania. An extra coin to the, wa to the waiter, a formerly shocking fee paid off with a smile. And if one is not careful, one ceases to look at their ledgers at all. They will pay more than they ever did. And this is the road to ruination. An excellent point. Will it justify the deployment of warships? It had better. If not, perhaps another donation will. Um, a toast to our prosperity. They join the fellowship. Our relationship should remain strictly transactional. Uh, petite bourgeoisie weaker. I'm going to do it the second one. Um, I don't necessarily... I, I think having the petite bourgeoisie get weaker is actually good for me. Um, I don't know why half of the conscripts for... The army of observation are flowing into the regular army instead, but they clearly are. It's very curious. Like, this formation is 24 units now. Um, so we're just going to keep that going this way. So, gold mines provide minting. Oh, hold on. Oh, private construction is doing two things. Nice. So gold mines provide... Ooh, Mordvin people. Uh, Finnic European heritage. Nice. So gold mines provide minting. Minting is a thing that increases, uh, that provides basically free gold income. It's super duper good, and uh, I need to have as much of it as I can to keep my government uh, in the black, because we're not in the black right now. Um, all right, we're, we're building more. But again, this is an investment. This will be huge dividends uh, long term. An American Woman's Travels. A popular set of travel writings by a female author have been published, lending support for the propertied women law. She's traveled all over on her own, and said she even rides her horse forwards like a man. What a great boon for our cause, 10% enactment chance. Or maybe we could get a bigger publisher, 33% chance of minus 10% enactment ch chance, 66% chance of plus 20%. I'm going to do the first one. I don't want to risk anything here. 35% uh, is completely reasonable. We don't have any stall chance here, so I'm not... I'm not worried. I don't need to... I'll, I'll generally go for a sure thing more than a... Uh, more than any kind of, of risk anyway. So, I have had this company slot open for a while. 
But once I've got a gold mine built, I'll be able to have a gold company, and that'll be really interesting. Oh, Britain managed to take over New Grenada on that side. Or at least to get part of the country. So, Kundamarka is their capital. Um, so if we continue to press across here, I'm going to send the Army of Florida over to here. Um, if we continue to press across here, we'll be able to get where we want to go in good time. Show me the battle. Show me the battle. Going up against Danish troops in pointy helmets! Pointy helmets! Christian de Meza. Interesting. Hey, there we go. All right, so there's the front line moved. Okay, Venezuela is bailed out. All right. Well, I guess I should have known that would happen. Um, anyway, the rest of my armies are on their way over to New Grenada, so that shouldn't be a problem. New Grenada, how's about we make peace and you become my protector? How about that? Newspapers offer support. The editor of the American Times has come forward and offered to support the property of women law if we help them out with some funding. Having articles written in support of it day in and day out is obviously a boon. The true advantage, though, is in not having articles written against it. Suzerain players seething. Um, United States of America gets newspaper... N if we say it's too expensive, we get minus 10% enactment chance. Uh, or if we say this is great, it costs us 4.4k for two years. 10% enactment chance. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not hurting for enactment chance on this. Minus 10%. It's not that much cash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay it. We can get this knocked out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not close, but I'm a little close with the intelligentsia. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's something where it would be beneficial to us to, to move forward. Now, once New Grenada is my puppet, I'll be able to take the, the Panama Canal, and then I'll be... Er, sorry. <clears throat> the, I'll be able to take Panama and the Panama Canal zone uh, and not have to have a Panama Canal zone. Then I can just build the Panama Canal whenever I want. British... American Fellowship offers opportunity. The American British Fellowship has offered an opportunity to establish a foreign investments right. I, I don't want to invest in Great Britain. You guys, it's not in our interests. This happened already. Um, movement to enact no colonial affairs organizes Texas. Organizers affiliated with the movement to enact no colonial affairs have embarked on a focused campaign to inspire support for no colonial affairs in Texas. Residents of every region in the world like to say that their home has a long and unique history of tight-knit community. The organizer almost agreed. The problem was, of course, that said community often didn't extend to outsiders. He'd been thrown out on his ear more times than he could count, but he persisted nonetheless. If he could introduce the right phrase into the right circles, perhaps even an idea that had been rejected out of hand at first, would begin to find purchase. There are plenty of willing ears in Texas, five political movement supports, universal pop growth strength in Texas, and standard of living from... And radicals from standard living decreases increase. Or they must be concerned with far more grounded things. Half of the second half and the movement doesn't get stronger. Um, uh, you know, I'm going to go with the second one. I, um, I don't see any benefit to... Excuse me. Why are you going back to the United States? We're in the middle of a war here. Ugh, that was... They're both going back to the United... Stop it! I'm not... I'm not going to have Britain fight my entire war for me. That's not what being allied to the British in the early game is about. Well, it kind of is. We got a free trade party again. Um, that means that the... Oh, interesting. So, the industrialists have split from the Republicans, from the intelligentsia, and then the petite bourgeoisie have formed the Democratic Party, which the yeoman farmers... So they'll be with the southern planters and the yeoman farmers. That's fine, actually. So once the election happens, we can just put them right out of the government, and that'll be just fine. Peace? Protectorate? Protectorate. Propose peace deal. Give me your you. Beautiful. All right. So. That's a nice successful war, I would say. Nope. They want their own market. Now. They always start by asking for their own market, because they always start isolated, but they're not going to be isolated in a little bit. Commander commends Civic Coalition. General Delano has made public statements in support of the Republican Party, bringing into question the political neutrality of the military. It is my duty to support the nation and its interests. 
Politics is as much a part of war as battles and logistics are. I don't see the problem with doing my duty and doing what I can to make sure those who are best fit to protect the nation end up being the ones in charge. So General Delano is a Democrat, and he aligns with the intelligentsia. He's a persist he's persistent, an inspirational orator, and a pillager. He can say what he wants, 20% momentum. Reprimand him, good soldiers don't give orders, they take them. Officer pops in the United States become more radical. Or, if he likes politics so much he ought to get more involved, he becomes the leader of the intelligentsia. So, leading up the intelligentsia, we currently have a different uh, Democrat. I'm just going to say he can say what he wants. So, what's the Republican Party's momentum look like? Oh, Democratic Party's got quite a bit of momentum. Um, that's a shame. So, we're going to be forming a minority government, but that's all right. I think we can still remain legitimate. Oh, interesting. This is a weird combination. Just voting. Oh, because the yeoman farmers want to join the Republican Party. Oh, that's delightful. That's actually probably good. We'll see. We'll see what options we've got once that uh, clears out. So we've got New Grenada as a puppet. Um, their liberty desire is increasing. Um, they are partially economically dependent on us. Um, and their liberty desire is going up, but it'll be going down soon due to us having better relations, uh, which is coming soon. All right. Um, and we're still improving relations with Nicaragua, whose liberty desire is going down. We have a truce with them, so we can't reduce their autonomy, but that's not for much longer. We're gaining cash by building things. I'm extremely pleased with that. I'm hoping that continues. Oh, and I can found my, my company, the company that I wanted. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Breach loading artillery. Excellent. All right. So we need these mines to be productive. They're not productive. Oh, because they're not built yet. Well... Nevada Gold, you're getting built. So what do I research now? I've got breach loading artillery. Let's get triage and then let's circle back to production methods. I kind of want to... Yeah, I think I need to finish out uh, all of the tier twos for production and then get myself dynamite. Because dynamite's safer to have in mines than nitro is by a lot. If you've ever watched westerns, you know that's a huge plot point that nitro will just explode from the gentlest uh, kiss of an angel will set off uh, Nitro and cause it to just just turn everything nearby into 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 vapor. Oh, we're almost there. A little bit longer. Overly enthusiastic partisans. Supporters of the Democratic Party have gone beyond simply campaigning for their own party, harassing and sometimes physically attacking opposing partisans. I'm a simple party man, that's all. I know who I like and I know who I don't like. And I know I want my people to win and their people to lose. Uh, I can let them continue. This weakens the intelligentsia, or I can crack down, which reduces their momentum. You know I'm going to crack down, because I don't want the Democratic Party to win the election. Um, so that reduces their momentum further and increases the momentum of the Republican Party, which is what we want to have. Crystal glass unlocked. Excellent. Uh, so crystal glass is actually something I'm going to enable right away, because that's going to... Uh, put demand for lead into my market, and that is going to create a market for all the lead coming out of my lead mines, which there wasn't really much of before. Um, Great Britain is going after Nepal, trying to get a protectorate. I will join you if you ask, Great Britain. Um, once again, we are in the red uh, because we're building three things now instead of two. Happily, though, um, the things are gold mines, so the more productive they are, the better things go. And there's property to women. We've completed our government petition, making the government more legitimate. So next up, do we have any other reforms? Let me see. I can't, I'm not going to be able to go to free trade because we're swapping up the parties. Oh, I'll definitely be able to go to universal suffrage once the election happens. Oh, that'll be excellent. That'll be very excellent. I know, I don't think the ooh, Wolof people are joining the country. That's wonderful. I love that. Heck yeah. So getting these gold mines running. So these ooh, rich get richer. 
William Ingalls has thrown a soiree for the cream of the industrialists. Bribes, ill-disguised as donations, trade hands into the Free Trade Party. With your help this coming election, we'll make sure that those machines of yours stay greased and those ports stay open. Only 200 hands were in attendance, yet each clap was a thunderstrike to herald the passage of a thousand ships. They're likely to spend it all on champagne, 20% momentum. Someone ought to inquire about those donations. Uh, or can't we put this corruption money to better use? <laughs> Pop support for graduated and proportional taxation for five years. I don't have socialism research, so that's not useful to me. Um, if I say someone ought to look into it, so what's the over-under? I think increasing... No, I think I'm going to look into it, because I don't think that's going to lead to much more momentum for the Democrats, and it's going to lead to more momentum for the Republicans, because the... the the industrialists are going to be out of power by the end of this election. All right. So, this is the end of the reign of Cornelius Vanderbilt. He served one term, and so far he was a good president. But now, we've got Abraham Lincoln heading up the presidency, and uh, things are looking much less legitimate than they were before. Um... Oh, that's right, because he's, because he aligns with the petite bourgeoisie, so I need to keep them in government. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, so I'm actually at the most legitimate I can be right now, with these three and these two people trying to join a party and not being able to. That's a shame. That's a shame, Abe Lincoln. All right. And that means I can't, oh, I can see. if I pulled the yeoman farmers in, Let me see. So the yeoman farmers are the only people who support a move to universal suffrage. Southern planters would be against. Industrialists would be against. So if I put the industrialists out, they'll form a movement against it. So if I do this, oh, I'm going to be at a really rough place, legitimacy-wise. But getting off of universal suffrage is really important. We'll wait. We'll wait for now. So what else What else can we do? What else can we do that we want to do? Um, I could go to free trade. Human farmers would be unhappy, but what else is new? Oh, interesting. I can't go to colonial resettlement... Because nobody wants colonial resettlement more than they want colonial exploitation. This will make the yeoman farmers very upset. But it would let me colonize overseas, which would be uh, very good for me. I think we're going to do this. This might be a mistake, but I think we're going to do it. We're going to see how things go. Again, all right, beautiful. So, the Frontier Wars is completed. So, the last vestiges of Native American rule have been stamped out, leaving only the dominion of the United States of America. We have it in our power to begin the world over again. A situation similar to the present has not happened since day the days of Noah until now. The birthday of a new world is at hand. This was our destiny. So we get Yankee homelands all over the Northwest and a Dixie homeland in Oklahoma. And we'll annex the Indian Territory. Huh. Um. Huh, indeed, event sound effect person. Um, do I... So here's my thinking. I actually want to have a puppet state that's got uh, a Native American culture as a primary because I don't want to be in a situation where I've got a huge population of people that don't have any place where they can not be discriminated. So, I think... So, first of all, let's take a look at these. I can start incorporating Montana. It's going to take two years. Okay, so these keep progress at their current uh, level. So, these will, many of these will be incorporated at the beginning of next month, uh, of next episode. 
So I'm going to take a little bit longer. Um, I'm just going to go to the end of the month, and I'm going to consider... All right, the rural folk want to uh, retain frontier colonization. Those aren't bad numbers, though. Merry Christmas, everyone. So I think... Oh, my goodness. Ottoman Empire exploding? No. Ottoman Empire losing its recognition and becoming a minor power. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I can't I can't turn them into a protectorate. But you know, you know I want to. Oh, just cuz you know I'm an interest. It would be 117 infamy. I I can't. I, everyone would try to fight me about it. So I'm going to consider whether I want to actually uh, return Oklahoma to Native American rule because I do want to have um uh, a place that Native Americans can live and have a country and not simply be uh, discriminated for the rest of history until I figure out multiculturalism, if I ever do. Um, so we'll see. I think I'll make that decision between now and next episode, and we'll go from there. So uh, things are definitely looking up. We're doing much better financially. We are... The, the, the construction queue has started to consistently produce buildings of its own through the private... Uh, sector, so that's great. I'm building gold mines, which are increasing my financial situation. I got myself two protectorates in Latin America. A bunch more to go still, but that's all right. And New Grenada is an important one to have early on, because once New Grenada is a puppet, that'll let me have a border with Venezuela and Ecuador and Costa Rica. It's, it's just a very, this is a very well positioned location. Once I can move through troops there, I can be better positioned to intervene in Brazil because this area is passable. There's just a lot of options available. But that's all we've got for now. Friends, I've had fun. I hope you've had fun, my nerds. I will see you on the other side.